and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're just doing a little flight over the top of uh, Adelaide heading towards uh, Parafield Airport which is one of the local airports but we're not going there to land we're going to look at a couple of other things that I think are pretty important. Carry on 11.26 with X-Plane and we're waiting anxiously for 11.3 to come out because we're expecting a lot from that update but at the moment I just thought I would like to show you something you may not be aware of and that's the actual iPad app uh, our iPad or iPhone it can be used on and it does amazing things in real time so I'm going to change us to early morning look at that all I'm doing is moving my finger on a slider on the screen I'm moving up to early morning late afternoon there's sunset and it's night time again and you just slide your finger along then you can change the time of year uh, if you wish to tame the date but being that we don't have dynamic weather or dynamic seasons at the moment um, I don't think there's a great deal to that if you're going to go from summer to winter and have snow and stuff um, then it would be something worth doing now the other thing that we can do on this is one of many things you can actually set up all um, failures you can have a friend sit behind you and just give you failures to practice on which is pretty pretty amazing really uh, and it's just done over the network obviously so we're just flying past glorious Adelaide power field now let's have a look atmosphere this is another page that we have one of many but we can go from Kavik which is what we currently are and with a touch now we're doing 30 Oh, it's jumping around at 36, 37 FPS currently. If I go to VFR, let's have a look and see what we've got now. We're back to about 20, oh, we're sitting around 30. 29, 30 is about the middle. It's not super stable, but yeah, 29 to 31, 2 is where it's sitting. So we lost a couple of um, FPS there. Now we can go from there to mi uh, minimal VFR. By its touch of a switch and that just brings our view distance down a lot more adds some more clouds but uh, we actually gained a couple of fps with that i'm at 29 uh, 29 30 uh, jumps up to 34 but yeah it's, it's a couple of fps more which is quite surprising now we can go to ifr non-precision which is just going to be a white screen that's yuck and if we go there, we're sitting at about 34, 36 FPS. Cat 1 IFR, I've just changed it, but you're not going to notice the difference. The difference in that will be the base level. The base will be very, very low there. So let's go back to VFR. And let's go back to Kavik. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? And again, we can have rain if we want. Visibility, I can just slide the visibility up to max or I can bring the visibility back down till it's that's four nautical miles and all I'm doing is moving a slider there we go it clears back up again isn't that nice so you can do it on screen probably a really nice way to fine tune your FPS if you have a bit of trouble with FPS because we all do don't we so let's grab the heading bug because I don't want to go out to sea because since we go out to sea that will impact one. So let's grab this and drag it around and go back to whence we came. See Adelaide City down there. Um, I built Adelaide City, gives a bit of a skyline. Okay, so what else can we do? We can have rain. So if I just slide this along, I don't know whether we can get rain if we haven't got clouds. It's going to give us some clouds. Let's go VFR. And let's have some rain. Let's put that up. There might be some logic that says you can't do that without some rain. Oh. Get some more. It doesn't seem to be raining, does it? I was having played with it before and it was raining just fine. Give that a second. It might take a few seconds to catch up. Okay, I can hear it, and now we're starting to get some rain. 
One other question I had with uh, one of the guys I was chatting to yesterday on, I think it was on Facebook, um, was whether we had any um, droplets on the windscreen. Uh, at this point, we don't seem to have that. Um, my settings, I would have thought at high and text quality high objects and reflection detail, we, if we were going to get it, we would probably get it at this level, but it appears not. And you can wind the can wind the um, rain up to really really heavy if you want or you can just slide it back down again so we're sitting on 22 23 if we add rain does that have an FPS hit at all not really doesn't appear to. it's still sitting around that 22 3 4 just around that point okay so we've got our visibility we can have everything off and go back to Kavik is really nice now how about a storm would you like a storm so we can touch it on the screen so I've just got about 10% storm wise let's go up a little bit to 34% 59% let's just see give it a moment to catch up it might take a little time to to generate okay starting to get it what if I break it right up to 100% it's not as effective maybe we'll go and do it the other way and we'll see what sort of uh, effect we have so visibility I'm going to set that at 26 and we're getting 25 uh, 30 30 FPS at the moment I'm sure it's going to be difficult for you to see the numbers are going to be small but we're 29 30 at that point let's just jump over here go to main menu and we'll go to flight config and then we'll just go that from scattered right up to stormy and just see what sort of um, impact that has so we're we lost about 2 FPS sitting steadily at about 29 FPS so it's pretty surprising I'm looking forward to 11.3 with the new particle system I'm hoping that well I'm hoping that it'll be some sort of performance improvement and if you saw the video at Cosford recently when they were talking about uh, what was coming in performance improvements, we saw a small incremental ones as we went through the, the earlier parts of uh, 11 point one etc. But now we're coming towards 11.3, 11.2 plus. Uh, there was a big jump in the uh, in the graph on what they expect us to see. So I'm hoping that will turn out to be true. So. That's all I really wanted to do. We can do lots of other things. We can move clouds. We can actually set clouds uh, at different levels, different types. So we want some, we want clear at the ground level, but then we want some cirrus. We're just drawing a little. We put a few cl few clouds, and they're currently sitting at uh, five thousand. So let's. Uh, make them 1,000 scattered at 1,000 feet and all I've done is just change the altitude and you can also change the depth as well so at the moment between 1 and 3,000 feet we're going to run into cloud if we want to go to broken clouds it's getting a bit heavier isn't it that's 26 27 uh, uh, on the uh, frames per second overcast dropped a little bit maybe one or two FPS down and then we can go strata clouds and what do we get there we're about 25 so I guess the overall wrap up of all of this is clouds in X-Plane 11 don't really have a huge impact on on the system and the other thing we did find out from Cosford that they now believe that we have just about no impact with our um, uh, Autogen, if you are a new subs new person here and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Love to have you on board. We do lots of videos uh, every week and a few live streams now. And if you've come on back for another dose, then thanks for coming back and really appreciate your support. So again, until next time, I will catch you back here on Let's Fly VFR. See you again soon. Oh, and we're smoking. <laughs>